Recently, I made a video on how to use clip gain automation in Presonus Studio One version 5. If you're interested in that video, I'll leave a link in the description. And I thought I'll do the same demonstration, but this time in Cakewalk. I have the same song loaded in Cakewalk. The song being used for demonstration is Turn On Me by Band From The Zoo. Again, I'm going to use the vocal track for automation. Just going to enlarge. That's our vocal. Let's uh, solo it and have a listen. This is the raw audio. <laughs> and we can hear all background noise. If I could change the world The way we access the gain clip gain automation is right from here at the moment is selected clips so we're just going to click and go to clip automation and gain There's also added advantage here in Cakewalk is that you can also uh, use pan automation at the clip level So let's just click the gain and we get this red line across at 0 dB. Right there you can actually see that 0 dB. That allows you to adjust the gain up and down. We can either add nodes and adjust it, but the simplest way, let's say like in my previous example, I want to increase the volume of the first few words. I'm just going to dive in a little bit and select just uh, before it and just about there. And see how it's got highlighted. And if I move my mouse just over that line there, top of the clip, and click, automatically creates the two nodes of the selection that I have made. I've got my mouse click down, and now I can adjust it. And I also get a visual indication of how much I'm increasing. At the moment, 6 dB. And next, let's say I want to get rid of all this noise uh, between the words. I can again select, let it go, come to the top and see that arrow change and I'm going to click and put that two nodes and I can drag that down all the way. It's over here. Now I'm going to use my mouse to add a node just before it's starting and now I'm just going to move my mouse just above that again and click and as you can see it selects and highlights those two nodes and I can drag that down. So it's nice and clean in between words. And the next thing I do usually, especially beginning of uh, the sentence and the line, is just going to slight bend there. So it's actually fading in. So it's not too sharp cut. Same with here. Just going to fade that in and bring that one down as well. Start from pretty much there. So that way we don't get any noise. But we still have the initial breathing, air and immersion before the singer starts singing in there. So let's just do one more. Let's say this one here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit further. Again, I'm going to put a note there. And this time I'm going to add a second node there. Just going to increase that. Oops. Tiny bit. And again, just click anywhere. So it just selects those nodes and I can select that node and give it a sort of a fade out for that one. That's how you can do clip gain automation in Cakewalk. Let's have a listen. With you, if 
If I could change your mind. Unlike in Persona Studio One, I haven't found a way to enable and disable the clip gain. If someone knows how to do it, because it, it's not documented, um, please let me know in the comments below. Um, that way you can switch it on and off and actually hear what changes you've done and whether you made it better or worse, of course. Um, and it's really important to be able to do that so that you can hear if increase, especially when you increase words in between, it might also need, uh, remove some of the natural uh, dynamics of the vocals, which you don't want to do. So um, not just visually, you can you need to also listen to see if the words that you increased or decreased affecting the natural flow of the singing. Otherwise, that's how you use clip gain in Cakewalk. If this video was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.